dangly, dangly phone cord, everybody. Love that thing. I just got it. Uh, what's up? Marty Schwartz here, guitarjams.com, uh, bringing you a, a request. Uh, obviously, Hendrix, what can I say? Purple Haze. Here we go. It's in the um, E minor pentatonic scale, and we're going to use the one with the root on uh, the A string, the 7th fret. And uh, the more you know the pentatonic scales, the easier these songs will be to learn because you can visualize all the notes that are going to be most likely, um, or the notes that are most likely going to be used. So anyway, here we go. It's going to start with what are called octaves, and uh, let's check it out. So I've got uh, my first finger is going to be on the sixth fret. That's a B flat note. And uh, my ring finger is going to be a whole step higher, skipping a string and going to right there, the uh, eighth fret on the D string. Okay? And it just goes back and forth between those two notes. That's it. That's pretty easy. All right? Um, now, half step lower. So my ring finger be on the seventh fret of the D string right there and I'm going to slide it up a whole step with one pick just like that then I'm going to put my first finger on the seventh fret of the G string right there just like that then my middle finger is going to go right here on the eighth fret of the B string Obviously with Hendrix, I mean, there's so much attack and, and character in, in the playing. So we're kind of just covering the notes here. The attack and the nuance and the vibrato and, and you know, just the, 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 the energy. Um, that's something you're going to have to kind of channel um, from, from deep within. Um, but uh, anyway, yeah, enough about that. Let's keep going. So here's what we have. Okay, then my first finger is going to go to the 7th fret on the D string. And that's that, you know, beginning phrase. Okay? Okay? Next, um, we're going to be on the 5th fret, and it's going to be the D string 5th fret, then the um, A string 5th fret, and then I like to hammer on to the 7th fret on the A string. Okay, but we also have, we're going to have a low E string in there. But don't worry, I'm going to about to walk you through it. It goes like this. You see that? So five on the D, five on the A. Open E next. So it's... Then five on the A hammered up to the seventh. I've seen other guys... Uh, you can slide it up as well. Um, the other thing is these two notes can, can be slid in as well. There's a lot of sliding into notes and hammering on, um, which adds a lot of personality to the, to the notes. Um, sorry, let me do that again. Okay, here's what we have so far. do it again slow. string 7th fret, 5th on the D, 7th on the D, bent up, some people will bend it down, I almost always bend up, obviously on my lower string I can't do that, um, release to the 5th um, fret on the D string. Okay, 
That's what we got. Next, that same note, and you could slide into it or you could just hit it. Then the open A string, then the open E string. To the third fret on that. so far. Now I'm going to slide my ring finger uh, from the 5th fret up to the 7th fret on the A string to the 1st finger on the 5th fret of the D string bend but now after I after when the bend is up there I'm going to release it and you're not going to hear the bend go back down and mostly that's from either you know just kind of muting with my right hand and and left hand then hammered on from the fifth to the seventh on that same string then right from the 5 on the D string to the 7th on the A string. Um, ring finger on the D string on the 7th fret. I'm going to slide it up to the 9th. Then I'm going to hit the 7th twice on the G string to the 9th right there. Uh, Here's the whole thing. Again, Marty Schwartz here, Guitar Jams. All your guitar needs brought to you by the letter F. Uh, anyway, sign up, be my friend, make your requests. Uh, I've got a lot of them coming in. I really appreciate all the great feedback, and you know, I'm, I want to teach you what you want to learn. So uh, let's do this together, okay? Um, that's all. That's all I got. Oh, yeah. Um, if you wanted to learn the rest of this tune, uh, make your request and I'll, I'll teach it to you. And otherwise, on to the next tune. Later! <laughs>